Number 1. Aeromobile The Aeromobile is a fascinating vehicle for several reasons. First of all, it's a real flying car. Yes, that can actually fly in real life. The evolution of the supercar is the Aeromobile, which is inspired by the mythical winged horse Pegasus. Also, the Aeromobile is the high-end vehicle species equally at home, on the road or in the sky. It has aerospace dimension of 20 feet in length and wing span of 30 feet, which equipped with the hybrid propulsion system turbocharged internal combustion engine, which can power up to 224 kilowatt with a flying range of 520 to 740 kilometers. The Aeromobile does what no supercar or private jet can do. It can seamlessly transfer from car to aircraft from driving to flying in under 3 minutes. Aeromobile is faster than most traditional flights and it is less stressful and less time consuming than traveling through a traditional airline or ordering for a helicopter. Within early 2023, Aeromobile will bring to market the flying car that is both cool and sophisticated and will set new standards of innovation, driving and passenger experience. Number 2. Paul V. Liberty the personal air and land vehicle is an aircraft manufacturer based in Netherlands. The company has been in business for more than 20 years with the dream of building an actual flying car. After years of research and development, it launched its first flying car known as Paul V. Liberty, which is weighs 664 kilograms. The Liberty is powered by an unspecified petrol engine that produces around 74 kilowatts. That might sound weak, but thanks to the featherlight curve weight, the Dutch flying car is claimed to hit 100 km in less than 9 seconds and top out a limit at 160 km an hour. Also, more relevant is that fact that the Liberty can cover 1315 km between refills thanks to the generous 100 litre tank. But in flight mode, that figure drops to 500 km. Also, the small flying car can cruise at 160 km and top out at 180 km legally. Once certified to fly, the Dutch company says it plans to price the Liberty from 399 US dollars with a number of flying cars already sold. Also, the Paul V. Liberty has made history by becoming the first flying car to pass stringent safety and emissions homologation test to allow it to be driven legally on European roads. Number 3. Klein Vision Air Car In late October 2020, Klein Vision has released a video of its air car tracking a maiden flight. Similar to Aeromobile, the vehicle is a four-wheel car with only two seats and it does actually fly like an aircraft. The aircraft can hold a maximum of two people with a total weight of 440 pounds and its highest in flight speed is 118 miles per hour. Unlike other flying car prototypes, aircraft is not able to take off or land vertically requiring a runway like a plane. Before taking it to the sky, your car need to extend its tail to the backward to make space for its wing to function properly. It's powered by a 1.6-liter 6-cylinder engine made by BMW. Client's your car took 2 years to produce and cost just under 2 million. Right now, your car is still a prototype but at least it's a real flying car. Number 4. Airbus Pop-Up The Airbus Pop-Up as a concept was presented at the 2017 Geneva Auto Show. It was part helicopter and part car, and Airbus claims that although further development will rely on technologies that at this point are not mature enough, the basic idea actually is feasible. Technically speaking, the pop-up is already very close to form a new transportation which can be produced right now. The pop-up system is composed of three physical components, 
There is a passenger capsule where the rider sits in and there is a ground module that attaches to the bottom of the passenger capsule to give it wheels. But when you need to take flight a giant quadcopter drone swoops in, attaches to the top of the passenger capsule and takes it off the ground and leaving the ground module behind. The year was combined with auto giant Audi and design and engineering company Ital Design to make this concept happen. Number 5. Terrafusia Transition One vehicle, two modes of travel. The transition brings the dream of the flying car to life. Well, it sits to and converts from drive mode to flying mode in under a minute. With just one push to a button and you will be able to eliminate the hassle of hangar storage, ground transportation and aviation fuel. The transition fuel up with automotive gas and can be stored in your home garage. On display at the New York International Auto Show in April 2012, the Terrafusia transition brought a tangible evidence to the world that the concept of flying car was not at all imaginary. Now that is a fully working model instead of just a prototype. You can actually buy it an estimated price of $400,000. With the rear mounted propeller, Terrafusia Transition has four wheels, two doors and a folding wings behind them. It's powered by a hybrid engine which can mount up to 100 miles per hour at an altitude of 9000 feet. Also it includes sophisticated controls for driving and flying. Number 6. Maverick Flying Car Developed by Indigenous People Technology and Education Center, the Maverick flying car is never intended as a vehicle for general population, but a vehicle to help reach those in remote locations where transportation is a real challenge. Maverick is an FAA certified flying car, so it is actually road legal. The vehicle is powered by a fuel injected 2.5 liter Subaru engine that generates 190 horsepower. Its R1 speed is 40 miles per hour. Also, Maverick needs at least 300 feet of runway to take up the ground. Unlike other flying car concept, Maverick does not has any built-in wings, but a central telescopic mast with ram yard wing. The 300 feet run-up with the rear propeller helps the car to have enough lift to be airborne. With a click of a button, you can make Maverick from a car to a flying car.